Hey guys, Tim Heinrich with TeamRev.com. Motivation Tuesday for you today. Uh, we had a holiday yesterday, Memorial Day. Hope you guys had a great holiday weekend. And as with most holidays, we all tend to go a little lax on perhaps the health and fitness aspect. You know, take a break day, which, hey, you should take a break from time to time. You should eat one of those cheat meals every now and then. I hope you had a chance to go to a barbecue yesterday. I had an In-N-Out burger yesterday. For those of you who are on the West Coast, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, today is a day. Okay, we had the weekend. Now time to get back on track. And I want to bring a message to you about how to pace yourself. And I think this ties in very well with where we're all at right now. Now, uh, it's very easy when you get involved in a health and fitness program. You get your goals set for yourself. Maybe you, you've been fed up with being overweight for a long time. And finally, you're like, you know what? I'm going to lose that 30 pounds. I'm going to start today. I'm going to get on a program. I, I got P90X. It's been sitting on my, on my shelf for two years and I haven't done it. And today I'm going to make that thing happen and I'm going to do it full force. And it, this is going to happen. All right. Now we get really motivated. We get really excited in the very beginning. We have all this energy and we want to, we want to harness it and we want to take advantage of it and we want to go, go, go and get to the mountaintop as fast as we can. But the thing is, when you're climbing up a mountain, you gotta take it one step at a time, right? You can't sprint to the top of a mountain. You gotta hike up it. You gotta maintain a pace that you're able to maintain to be able to get there the quickest way possible. You know, and it's very easy, especially when we see the destination, to wanna sprint there, get there as fast as we can. But that's not a sustainable thing to do. And that's why it's important to learn how to pace yourself. Now, an example from my own life recently, I'm currently doing Insanity Asylum. And it's very hard for me, once I start a program, to uh, feel like I can go off track at all. You know, I feel like I need to do the program exactly as it's intended. So if it says six days a week, I gotta get those six workouts in. And if I miss one, oh, well I gotta double up on another day. And I came to the realization while I'm doing Asylum here because I'm not doing it as part of a specific challenge. I'm not doing it uh, to prepare for a Spartan race or a run or a particular competition or anything like that. I'm just doing it as a challenge. It's something that I want to do to challenge myself to take my health and fitness to the next level. And in that sense, there's no specific end date to when that needs to happen. You know, I don't have a competition coming up next month where I need to be in a specific shape. I just need to get there. This is part of my lifelong journey and passion towards keeping a healthy and fit body, being able to be very active in my later years. These are some of the whys that drive me. And if those are the whys that I'm really looking at, they're really important to me, why, if I miss a day, am I gonna beat myself up for not getting it in? Or if I had not as much time that day, maybe I have an hour long workout with Asylum planned and I had a 14 hour work day, wouldn't it be more effective for me as a whole to do a shorter workout that day just to get something in rather than to try to cram in a long workout and do it poorly? This is the sort of thing I'm talking about as far as how to pace yourself. That's why it's so important to connect with why you're doing this, okay? Now maybe you do have a specific deadline. Maybe you have a wedding coming up or uh, a high school reunion or something like that. Something that you wanna look good for and you have a specific goal to get to by that date. But keep in mind that that date has a specific time frame involved. That does not mean you need to get there by next week. Say you have three months to get there. Don't try to get there early. Understand that the process takes time. Give yourself that amount of time to come up every day, to commit to the actions you need to every day, to pace yourself. You know, it's the difference between running the 100 meter dash and running a marathon. You don't start off at a sprint when you're running a marathon. And this journey of health and fitness is a marathon. It is not a sprint. Even if you have a specific deadline for a goal that you want to achieve, once you get to that point, once you get to that end point of that goal, does that mean you just quit or stop? Does that mean you try to maintain that breakneck speed for the rest of your life? No. It means that this is just one step in the process of a lifelong journey. And in pacing yourself, you gotta find something that you can maintain that is sustainable over time. And that goes for your workouts, 
that goes for your health and nutrition. You know, I talk about the, the, the holiday weekend, you know, having yourself a nice burger. Hey, you should have those cheat meals every now and then. You should let yourself splurge every now and then because it's not sustainable for the majority of us, I'm including myself in this, to eat clean and healthy 100% of the time. And it's no fun, you know, every now and then, like I love sweets. I need to be able to indulge in a nice dessert every now and then. I had a moon pie with my wife yesterday and it was fantastic. And you know, after that and the burger, no, I didn't feel all that great, but I know I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna be, it's gonna give me more fuel to get back into a more healthy eating style after that because there's, there's an emotional payoff there too. Okay, so these things are all things that you need to consider. And creating a sustainable path, that is the way to go because what you want is something over time where you're able to maintain your health fitness rather than doing this yo-yo up and down where you get in a little bit better shape and then you lose it. And you get in better shape and you lose it because you never came up with a sustainable plan, okay? So in that, if you need help putting something like this together, if you've been struggling with yo-yo going up and down, reach out to me on teamrev.com. I help people with this sort of stuff all the time. My coaching is totally free. And on top of that, I run an online accountability group if you are doing a Beachbody workout program, anything like P90X, Insanity, Insanity Max 30, Focus T25, look up on beachbody.com. You'll see probably any workout program you're doing is probably a Beachbody program. If you're following one of these, I have an online about accountability group on Facebook called Beachbody Warriors. It is also totally free. It's a great place to come in for accountability, support, to ask questions, and to help you along your journey to getting that sustainable health and fitness, that pace that you can maintain so that you can keep this going year after year as part of your lifestyle. Okay? So if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Reach out to me on teamrev.com. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Happy Tuesday. Have a great day. Have a great week. And we'll talk to you next time.